and the sawmill. Old style head rig. I don't know if guys would have rode the carriage on this one. It's not a big carriage. They drop these uh, L shaped spikes. Set the dogs. Run this thing back and forth. Take off first slab, second fletch, a two inch, square it up. Get 10 by 10, 12 by 12. I'll box the heart, try and get cut for squares. This is the adjustment. We give that clicks, each clicks a quarter inch. There's the rule. Sawyer sits here, engages his lever, runs the carriage back and forth. Saw to shoot waste conveyor. It's called an over and under rig, and these aren't 48 inch blades, these are like 36 inch. They're small, you inset, you carbides, replaceables. Steady block, just a piece of wood. It's a little piece of alder branch in there, whatever works, as long as it doesn't wear out. The splitter. Lots of noise, lots of waste. This actually isn't that thick a kerf. Some of the big stuff was up to 3 8 kerf. So every three cuts, you'd lose a complete inch of wood. It's a drive. Belt drive. Oat feed roll case. This is pretty archaic. You couldn't actually run this. This is just for a hobby. There's no proper roll cases or oat feeds there. Well, there's the engine for it. It's a little Chevy. No, no, what is it? It's a Slant 6. Chrysler Dodge powered mill. They come off the roll case to the end here. There's another engine under there. So that runs a trim saw. Of course, there's no edger. So this is only half a sawmill. This stuff would all come off rough with bark on both sides, called wane, and that would have to be pushed through the edger and turned into a 4, 6, 8, 10, or 12 inch board. And then it would be trimmed. So there, I would think there should be an edger in here, or it would be the next piece after the trim saw. But I got a bit of a soft spot for sawmills. I'm quite involved with them. Built one from the ground up, basically. Put one together.